people. No, I'm not asking you to pretend that none of this has affected you. I could tell instantly upon meeting you that you are someone who has had their heart shattered. But I also need you to recognize that what happened, that the person you fell in love with is not the same person in that room. I get it, all right? I get that this whole cult thing, the running away and the staying gone was not wholly their decision. And I can forgive the clouded thinking. I can even forgive the abandoning me, but they are going to have to look me in my eyes and say it. To admit what they did was wrong, regardless of the feelings for this this woman if they want me to be able to start to forgive them August no no I'm not having it I have watched for days as you have held their hand and treated them like a victim in all of this but what about me what about what I went through over these past two years Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have done this right outside the room. If I had known August felt this strongly still, I... See? They can handle it. If only you would let them. That may be. But what I said to both of you still stands. This hostility is not coming into the space. Not after all the work we've done. I suggest you step outside a moment and collect yourself, August. Your feelings are your own. But my rules, the boundaries I have set, are not going to change. Fine, just give me a few minutes to smoke and then I'll be back in. Lowering my anxiety is probably best for all involved. Would want to go and say things I can't take back. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you mean well, but I'm not ready for you to touch me yet. I'm gonna need a bit of distance so I can keep my head on straight. It's, it's nothing personal, little B. Suppose we both have limits to work on, huh? I'm, I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable. Yes, some habits die harder than others. You go and have your smoke break, and we'll be waiting in here for you. Fucking hell. Give me strength. There's some exercises in here that should help you better manage your anxiety. As well as find your own mind again. Oh, I'm well aware of how strong-willed you are. But when we spend a significant portion of our time with people like Amelia, like the group you were with, even the strongest minds can buckle. I just want to make sure that you are able to find your own moral compass again. And I think working on your anxiety with a bit of CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, I, I think that's the first major building block on that journey for you. August, come in. No, come in. 
We were just going over a few therapy-based tools. I'd be glad to share them with you afterwards if you're open to it. I... I don't have the greatest track record with therapists, so... Maybe best if we keep things as they are. I'm... I'm here to help them. Maybe... Find a little closure and a few answers and... And then we can see what happens after that. Also, I don't think it would be right if you were my therapist or whatever it is you call yourself. Quality programmer is the main title. But I do have a background in psychology as well. Rather keep to myself if it's all the same to you, miss. Very well. Now... Where would you like to begin? Why, why are you asking me? It's their show, ain't it? <laughs> We're all just players in this thing, but the game was theirs to play. But you did, love. <laughs> you did play the game because I refuse to believe it was so easy for you to walk away from me you were truly in love with me to begin with. Since you seem keen to speak about it, why don't we start there, August? Start at the beginning, and maybe we can see where things began to misalign between the two of you. My family has known theirs for quite some time. Not entirely sure how long, as my parents were never the best at communicating. More of a need-to-know basis with them. And so I accepted that as best I could. So you'd say communication is something that's important to you then? I suppose so, yeah. The truth is something that needs to be guarded, cherished and tended to. I believe it's a gift you give to those you care about, but also to yourself. I know, no, I know, you were always so honest and upfront with me, but then something changed. Can you pinpoint for me where that shift was for each of you? No. No, things, things were fine up until our engagement. When your mum and dad sat me down, they assured me that things were evenly matched. That you understood we would grow into each other over time, but they could see how we cared for each other. And you don't see that the same way as August? I tried. I did. I tried to be understanding when you started all the prying t trees and rocks and shit with Alethia. I really did. Remember August. August. Respect. Without respect, this process won't work. Even if you don't understand or believe the same things as they do, we are all going to respect one another here. So, you would say that things got more complicated as they started to learn about witchcraft and the connections between energy and crystals. Maybe herbology? Absolutely. And their parents would agree with me. We weren't raised like that. We believe in God, in one path, and you abandoned all of that. They may not be as willing to say it openly, but there was a lot going on in this house that I'm certain you had no idea of, August. I... I did know about it, though. About the depression... 
the times you questioned everything. Even how you used to hurt yourself. But what I don't understand is why you never came to me about any of it. I know the engagement wasn't what you wanted. I can see that now. But there was a time we were friends. There was a time you would tell me everything. And I can't seem to figure out what happened to that. Of course, I remember you telling me about the meetings. I was concerned that you were too fragile to be surrounded by so many new faces and ideas. Turns out I was right. Is that true, August? Did you tell their parents about the meetings after they confided in you? I... Well, the thing is that you don't have to get short with me. I was getting to it, all right? Yes. Yes, I did go to their parents, but it was only out of concern. It was only because I cared. And I still do. Not knowing if you were alive or dead for two years was excruciating. I looked everywhere I could think for you. Try getting in touch with Alessia, but she blew me off on sight. Because witches are evil, little bee. Why can't you see that? After everything our families taught us, after the way they raised us with a strong sense of right and wrong, it, it was like you let your horniness and being lonely destroy everything we worked so hard for. Uh, August. Oh, don't August me, all right? They need to hear it straight, and I'm tired of dancing around this. Around what, exactly, August? What? Well, don't get shy now. Not on my account. You seem to have a lot you aren't saying for someone who professes to put honesty and clear communication above all else. So, let's have it. No, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to settle in either. You don't deserve to be treated this way. I have sensed from the moment I arrived that August and your parents are keeping some massive secrets. And enough is enough. I won't have you in here acting all high and mighty, attempting to steamroll them when they are too kind-hearted to tell you exactly where you can put your self-righteousness. Fine. <laughs> then, in the name of transparency, I know our history at the back of my hand. It was never a mystery to me, but instead something I grew up being vastly proud of. Our families go back to the beginning. Back to the days of the pilgrims on your father's side, little bee. They went together back in England as protectors of the church, of the word itself, and were entrusted with seeing that devotion and respect continued here in the new world, as it were. You can't you can't be saying what I think you're saying. It's not possible. Your family and mine were side by side during the Salem Witch Trials. During one of the biggest turning points in this country 
for the upholding of faith and the rightful suppression of these fantastical lies of heresy and trickery that never should have survived past those days. You were witch hunters, yes. Both of our families were. And this is not the first time that evil has shown itself who have been born into the family. We dealt with that insurrection back then, and we will deal with it again now. Henry! Please, you don't have to do this. I mean no harm. I would never. You have done your dirty deeds in the darkness for far too long. We will not allow your soul to be corrupted by these misgivings. Stop. No, please, please. I'm not a witch, I promise. I promise you that. I was merely convening with nature. Giving thanks to God. Giving thanks be to God for all we've been blessed with here in Salem. You will be cleansed, dear girl. Worry not. The demons will not win another soul. No, 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 give back, give back, give back. Please. Please, you don't, you don't have to. You know me. Be blessed, child. Know that the fire will cleanse and free you. Please, someone do something. Please. No, 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 no. Start of your rebirth. Are oh, you all right, Lucia? What? What are you doing? I was just trying to help her. Why would she? Fine, fine. Fuck me, I guess. We'll be outside whenever you two decide to be sane again. Oh, didn't you? Saw them burn me at the stake. I promise to tell you everything you want to know. But we must go. It's, it's no longer safe for either of us here. They killed me once when I was their family. Your family. Stopping them from doing it again, if it means saving you. I can't. I can take you to her, but we have to go right now.